there's a problem in the film critic community, and I think it may be indicative of the problems in Hollywood, the entertainment industry, as a whole. Last night I went to go see The Upside. I knew all the controversy surrounding it was about Kevin Hart. Did he tell a politically incorrect joke ten years ago? Did that cost him his job, a possible Oscar nod, an Oscar job? And derision from critics who would have... The movie was honest, funny, and brought several serious issues to light that most people ignore. Single fathers, the prison pipeline, depression, disability, and many more serious issues that we hyper-focus on. Prejudice, racism, and the wealth gap. It was a simple, funny, entertaining movie that told a story with a happy ending. It wasn't a preachy movie, and that may have been why critics panned it. Or it could have been because Kevin Hart is now on the naughty list. Or maybe there was no reason to give the film an honest look over, because there was nothing in it for critics. No presser to hobnob at, no invite to a party at some Hollywood elite's house. Or it could have been that critics are just so blind to storytelling that they can no longer recognize a good one. Maybe they are scared of the SJW Twitter mob as they are of MAGA hat wearing hicks from the South. There is a lot of speculation of what the problem between critics and viewers. If anyone was bothering to listen to the little people, now called normies, or even those now called the intellectual dark web, you would see this problem multiplying and metastasizing in the mainstream media, especially with this Hollywood Oscar hosting kerfluffle. The Oscars haven't had a good year of ratings in a decade, maybe more, but it goes on blithely ignoring even the need for an audience, mocking, deriding, and even calling for action against a sizable chunk of that audience that so far the Hollywood ass-kissing circle jerk can't even fathom have been an essential part of their success. Though I'm equating critics with the Hollywood elitists who bite the hands that feed them, this actually isn't a new problem. Twenty years ago when I was writing for science fiction magazines and e-zines, this same problem existed. But sci-fi was a niche genre that was still struggling for appreciation and recognition from mainstream critics. The community was online, but it was tight-knit and closed not by desire in large, but by a decided lack of coolness that having met William Shatner and fanboying over Patrick Stewart still couldn't bust you out of. Disney princesses were still for girls and sci-fi was still a man. And then the brainchild that Stan Lee brought to life came into its own, broke out of the Saturday morning cartoon shell, and now everyone knows about comic books Everyone watches sci-fi, and even pop stars sing about how cool things out of Japan are. The geeks and the nerds grew up, started tech companies, rock bands, YouTube channels, gamer channels, and internet platforms. Now anyone can be cool. And when anyone can be cool, who is really cool? That seems to be the contest in Hollywood. The gap between Hollywood and the people that view their movies is becoming much wider than any wage gap, any wealth disparity or prejudice could produce. And their nepotism, insulation, and inside the bubble mentality has never been more pronounced than it is now. That disparity becomes larger and larger with each passing year. And it can be seen on Rotten Tomato scores, Amazon reviews, IMDb ratings, drives, this drives a public that is starving for unity and hungry for storytelling that so far they can only get in comic book hero movies. These same movies that Hollywood seems to be determined to kill in both film and off film in comic books. And even in video games. It's a shame because the market is there. The games are there. The comics are there. Even the movies like the upside, are there. The machines to make it are there. But the engines, the ones inside the Hollywood bubble, the actors, the filmmakers, 
They are so busy destroying the yellow brick road to success in their own community, to their own community, that it may be a long while before anyone wants to visit again. And that's a shame. It really is. Hit the like button, subscribe, visit my website, www.noelcampbell.com. This is Noelle signing off, saving the world one person at a time, starting with myself.